Welcome to Drunk 3PO. Some interesting Star Wars news today coming from my friend. He's a friend of the channel. One of my favorite YouTubers, Doomcock, about these test screenings of The Rise of Skywalker. If you haven't seen his video, I'm going to link it in the pinned comment below. Check him out. Check out his channel. If you, if, if you, I'm sure everyone here has already subscribed to him. If not, just check him out. And he made it... A, a, a pretty cool video that that I I just want to discuss. I just want to discuss here now in his video, in Doomcock's video. Did I just assume his gender? I think I might have. In Doomcock's video, <laughs> he does say that. Take this as a rumor. Take it as a grain of salt. This comes from one of his sources. Again, take this as a rumor. Just take it as Star Wars talk, Star Wars debate. Whatever you, whatever you want to take it as. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it as that. Uh, about the test screenings. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through what he said here. And we're just going to talk about it for a minute. Now before that happens, um, Jason Ward put out a tweet after Doomcock's video. And just said, I spoke to sources in Disney, Lucasfilm, and, the, and in the theater industry. And I can tell you that they say they have zero test screenings of a Star Wars film. So... That's his take on it. Then Mary Mayhem comes out on Geeks and Gamers with more evidence that this possibly happened. So, I don't know. Here we go. Let's just go. I'm reading from Comic Book News. And Comic Book News, if you want to go to their website, comicbook.news. Comic book and it, it, they basically just uh, have the transcripts of the video. So, we're going to go. We're just going to go through it real quick and just talk about it about George Lucas saving Star Wars because the test screenings were disaster. Now, they don't name Duke Doomcock's name in the article. I don't know why, but maybe they just didn't want to do that. But um, the article talks about that they they brought some hardcore fans, a quarter who were simply fans, a quarter who were aware of Star Wars but didn't buy merchandise or consider themselves big fans, and a quarter of the people who are likely just to see any movie in general just because they want to go see the movie so they released the kennedy abrams version of star war uh the rise of skywalker and it says that the first act scored 65 and then after that it scored a 12 in the second act and after that it scored a four with only the general audience giving it points <laughs> uh yeah that was a huge problem in the test screening so basically says uh, Ray destroys the Emperor which caused them to burst out in laughter you know so she just I don't know um, that that wasn't supposed to be a scene you laugh at <laughs> that was supposed to be the climatic end of the scene so uh, Ray doesn't win she literally stomps a mud hole in the Emperor's but <laughs> and when this happens the screen bursts into laughter Iger said was was said to be upset and redo this ending I want people laughing at the like that's what we want we don't want that it's supposed to be climatic it's supposed to be amazing so Iger had him uh, rework the later half of the film um, it claims that Iger also ordered that Anakin and Luke come in the flesh that's interesting. And Doomcock did not know what this means. It said that the Iger version tested better. A little bit better. So, But then they were like, that's not good enough. So then they bring in George Lucas with Kennedy and Abrams version and the Iger version scoring not as high as hope. George Lucas, who is said to have worked on some early writings on the flick, offered some help to incorporate bo both Kennedy and Abrams, Abrams excuse me, version and the Iger, Iger version. But during the third act, George Lucas introduced a secret Skywalker, which nobody knows what that is. But the Lucas version is said to have scored an 88. So there you have it. Now let's just talk about test. Let's just talk about um, test screenings. If this is true, then they got a big problem on their hands. And I hope there are a lot of lessons learned but the test screenings is nothing new remember when we got the preview to rogue one 
in this scene here where the TIE fighter is coming to kill Jen Urser, you know, and it didn't happen in the movie, you know, but we got it in the trailer. And we also got uh, scenes in the Vanity Fair magazine about Rogue One that never happened in the movie either because of test screening. They watched the film and were like, uh, no, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work, Chief. And because of the test screening and because of the reshoots, we got this one of the most iconic scenes ever to come out of Disney Star Wars. One of the most iconic scenes ever with Darth Vader out of Disney Star Wars. So you might be saying, Jay, do you think these rumors are true? I, I don't put it past them. I don't put it past them that this is what's happening. Listen, this is the big finish. Okay, <laughs> this is supposed to be the big 40 plus year finish of the Skywalker saga. And you can't. It, oh my goodness can't go out on a giant flop <laughs> where people are just laughing and applauding and like this is the stupidest film I've ever seen I can't go out like that it probably will go out like that but I'm just saying um, so we'll see what happens what I would love to do is, is hear your comments below what do you guys think what do you guys think did this happen oh no it was just a rumor Probably or or you're like probably did happen, it probably did happen and my goodness what a mess what a mess, what a mess if this is true. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. Let me know what you think. This is Drunk Three PO, and I will catch you next time.